Welcome to Coffee with Crane. I'm Joseph Patrick. This is a podcast series where I sit down with industry professionals and chat about what's going on in the world of logistics. In this episode, we have a twofer. Today, we're going to be joined by Crane Worldwide Logistics Canada Custom Development Manager Scott Bowman and Crane Worldwide Logistics International Pricing Manager Newell Wang. Welcome to Coffee with Crane. Good morning, Joseph. How are you doing today? I am well, and yourself? Good, thank you very much. And Bye, well, Joseph. It's so lovely to have you both here. Now, Scott, you already know this, but we always like to start off with an icebreaker. So with that in mind, I understand that sports in Canada have been a little bit different since the pandemic. Can you explain that to us? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so obviously with COVID happening, we've lately had to watch our baseball team from afar. So the Toronto Blue Jays have been playing their home games either out of Buffalo or Dunedin, Florida. Wow. Um, two things have changed recently. They were allowed to come home and we were allowed to have our own fans, which is great. And the second best thing is we're winning. <laughs> those are two great facts. I'm glad to know those. And Newell, this is your first time with us on Coffee with Crane. Uh, what's a fun fact about yourself that most people don't know? Uh, fun part in, uh, in this industry, I believe, the fun part is every day you are doing the same thing repetitively. Um, the fun part to me is I've been in industry for 10 years and I don't feel bored in an industry and there's a lot to learn and I'm still at my learning curve. Hopefully we all are. This is such a, a, a wild and crazy business that we're in. It changes literally every day. So that keeps it from ever being boring, in my opinion. Yes, exactly. All right, Scott, we'll start with you. In our previous episodes together, we discussed Canada Customs products. So what will you be bringing us today? Yeah, that's right, Joseph. Today we're going to focus on the Canadian Ocean product and how it operates. Fascinating. All right, so Newell, uh, based on the market updates received in, you know, internally from corporate and due to COVID, what is the current status of the ocean market in Canada? Not going to lie to you, Joseph, it has been miserable. The situations that have lead to us feeling so down are space allocations, equipment shortages, and the booking not being released. We have heard from the Ocean Group, 2M, Ocean Alliance, the Alliance, that booking instruction to the steam shipping lines need to be a certain way to secure a booking. For instance, MSC Diamond Tier guarantee space allocation, CMA, CGM, C priority go ensure a priority status for equipment release and space on board. Half pack shipping guarantee prevents cargoes from being rolled during peak season. And so, sticking on this topic, uh, how have steamship lines? I've been hearing about steamship lines. How have steamship lines changed the method in which bookings are completed in the past? Well, uh, in today's market, there are many different products from FAK. A premium and commodity groups that are dictating how bookings are secured. So M FAK is a commodity, meaning freight or kinds. Premium is a service level we are seeing in the current market that I've just mentioned, such as Diamond Tier, C Priority Go, and Shipping Guarantee Program. So that, those are two major differences. And between those two methods, uh, what differentiates the products? Uh, simply put, the rates. Separate the product. Simply put, rate. I like that. So interesting. So if rate separates how bookings are secured, uh, are there any other issues that are affecting the freight that is booked? Yes, operational issues getting slower, such as suppliers stopping productions and manufacturing shutting down due to COVID. There are also berthing delays and blank sailings. These are all COVID-related problems. These are all affecting timing metrics that previously were reliable for clients. This is happening at many of the outports, such as in Taiwan, Southeast Asia, we've seen now. That's troublesome. Now, with all the uncertainty and concern in the ocean market, why would consumers continue to use this method of transportation? That's a great question, Yusuf. Uh, with the different modes of transportation available to our clients, we must take into consideration a couple of things, the demand for product itself and the cost. Hmm. For example, and not to plug another product, but we will. Crane has a weekly air charter from Shanghai into the United States. 
However, it is specifically geared towards freight that is ready to move immediately. Mm -hmm. And the cost of the charter is justified the demand within those markets. The ocean product is extremely important to manufacturers and consumers for the freight that is needed later and endure the transit times associated with their moves. The cost is considerably lower than air charter. This is where planning from manufacturing and ultimate consigning is crucial. So definitely plan ahead. This has been blowing my mind. Thanks so much. I'm learning a lot from this, Nuo. Thanks. Uh, Scott, I don't want you to feel left out. I'll kick a question over to you. Uh, moving forward and knowing all this wonderful information, what would you like to see Crane do differently with the ocean product? In other words, how do we differentiate ourselves? That's a great question, Joseph. In our opinion, we want to sell differently, uh, not only in Canada, but throughout the world. It's how we approach the steamship lines, uh, and we sell by lane and not by rate. Although okay. rate will be a bit higher, by selling the lane, uh, the space allocation is as close to a guarantee as possible. And in the ocean market, as close to a guarantee is the best you're going to get. Everybody wants something yesterday, but they want to pay tomorrow's prices. No doubt. Well said. Well, Scott, you know, this has been a lot of information, and I'm sure that a lot of people are going to have a lot more questions about it. Uh, and if anybody has any questions regarding this topic, who do they connect with in Canada? It all starts with Newell, Joseph. Uh, Newell has the ability to work throughout the network to ensure uh, not only that our clients, but also our teams are informed and prepared with the ocean knowledge. She had all the right answers today. It was great talking to you both. Thanks so much for your wisdom and insights into all these issues. And we'll touch base with you all again here pretty soon, okay? Thank you, Joseph. Yes, thank, thank, you. thank you very much, Joseph. Thanks always. And thank you, dear listener, for tuning in. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and follow Coffee with Crane on your favorite podcast player. And always leave a comment. It really does help. So until next time, I'll save a nice hot cup for you right here on the next episode of Coffee with Crane. Goodbye now.